Is he uh, back in the role he's following this week, mate? First time in a fair while, or how excited are you? Yeah, I'm, yeah, re really excited. Um, um, it's been it's been nice just to sort of work on some parts of my game that are not to scratch yet, and to finally get that opportunity to showcase that on Saturday night. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, it should be good. And you're playing that utility role almost off the bench. Why do you think did you picked you for that opportunity? Oh, I can just um, a little yarn to Eddie about it before. He just he just said it. Just you know, I'm able to cover wing centers. Um, whatever that role may be, um, he's got full confidence in me doing it. So, yeah. yeah. Eddie, Eddie has talked about you know the world is coming as underdogs. You know maybe not being head outside the the group will give you scratch a chance. Do you sense that sort of motivation of really trying to stun the Kiwis and make a statement on Saturday? Oh yeah, I think we just got to um, do our jobs out there on Saturday night. Um, and yeah. We, we, Underdogs or not, I think we just got to do our jobs. Did you get to start alongside uh, Tom Hooper this week? We spoke to Chris a couple weeks ago about him and you know coming off a pretty disappointing um, debut in South Africa. What, you, what advice did you give him? I guess before the game this weekend, and what do you want to see for? Um, I guess just what he's been bringing at Super Rugby. Um, yes. Yeah, you know, his debut was cut short by a shoulder injury and he's been raring to get back and Eddie's put a lot of work into us for the last six days or the last seven days. Um, you know, he, he was very vocal about the issues that we have in the team and, and how we, the, the habits that we've developed over a period of time and how we need to break them. And he's, uh, he's definitely been hard on us when he's seen those habits and um, I think Tom Hooper's led that, you know, that habit-breaking mentality um, because he's just so eager. He's he's bouncing on everything. The last six days, I think he's been jumping out of his skin to be back in the fold, and um, it's interesting because it's not a traditional, uh, I guess, Australian seven. Um, but I have no doubt the work he gets through. You know his his mentality towards the game. He loves being in everything, so I can't wait to see him uh, have a crack. Can you elaborate on what the habits, what those habits are that need to be broken? Um, I think you know we we got stuck in being disappointed in ourselves once an, an error or something is made, and, and us you know being more so internal. Um, and missing an opportunity to to make amends for those habits, so it's more so just recognising that in our in our in ourselves and uh, making sure we're putting the team first in every in every case like that. Because as rugby players, you do do it a lot. You know, whether it's a line out or a skill error or or you miss a tackle, you sit there and you go fuck. Um, and he's just he's just trying to. Get us to get out of those habits and go. All right, team first. What's next? We've got to sprint back, get in the D line. Um, so yeah, just recognising that and making sure he sees a reaction about it. And he's definitely made it known to us if uh, if he didn't see it at training. Is that what he brings as a coach? Is his optimism or the way he thinks about things differently? Yeah, yeah. I think <clears throat> his optimism's been great. Like <clears throat> he is constantly filling the boys full of confidence um, around their own ability, but also the team's ability to perform. You know, coming off a couple of disappointing losses, you'd sometimes see that go away, but it hasn't changed with him. He's been consistent every day and he sets really high standards for us. And it motivates us to, uh, to change those habits and to change our, our mentality for, for the betterment of the team and for us to be a part of this squad. Um, because yeah, it's a privilege to be in here, and um, if he's not going to see it, he's going to change it, and he's made that very clear to us. Jed, um, Taniella said he was almost grateful to be sick for a couple of days because he saw how hard you guys got <laughs> work, work at training. Like, where does, do you feel like it's maybe some of the hardest sessions that you've done in what you've been in the world? Yeah, those three days up in the Goldie, I was talking to my wife about it. I'm like, I think this is the hardest three days. I've ever done as a professional rugby player because traditionally you go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off, right? Um, 
and I guess that's down to breaking that habit of, of thinking you can only train two days and you've got to take a rest. So he, he flogged us for three days and, and the body was definitely feeling it. And, you know, we had probably 20 hours at home and then back on a plane down to Melbourne and we backed that up again here. So it's almost brought a self-belief of, you know, we can go beyond what we're used to do, doing. Um, you know, we can push the boundaries. Our bodies can do this. So it's brought a, a huge amount of belief amongst the group. Um, and we got to back it up on Saturday. Uh, it, it, it won't mean anything because we'll go back to the drawing board if we if we don't get us, uh, the results what we're looking for. Um, so we need to make sure all the work that we've put in over these past week is, is we're pushing in the right direction. Hey, Jay, every coach, Jack, used to, everyone says, oh, I'm flogging them harder, I'm flogging them harder. That's, is, is what separates me from those couple of guys that you've had in the past? Um, <coughs> it's hard because when I when I was with Czech, I was so young. You know, it's um, it's funny with Czech. I I always thought I was getting so hard done by, but I look at it back now, and I'm I would love to have Czech again as a coach. Just the mentality he brought. You know, they're they're very similar. Is they're they're very hard edged and very black and white in their approach, and they'll tell you exactly what their thinking but then you know know how to wrap wrap their arms around you and want to push you forward to get the best out of yourself and it's like that old saying um, get comfortable being uncomfortable um, and if we're going to be the best team that we we want to be that's that's what we constantly need so really comparing the coaches I, I don't think you know I, I can do that but I, I I love the approach it's just so different to what we've been used to and where the team as a collective has been, you know, nailing it and, and turning up every day with the want to get better. You know, no one's been, you know, dragging their bottom lip or anything like that. Everyone wants to get better every day because they know if, if they don't, if they don't perform at training, you know, you could be on the outer. So, yeah, we've been trying. <coughs> Jed, the, the team is quite an experience. I mean, Carter's, I've been super impressed with Carter all year. Like, he's, the development that he showed from year one at the Rebels to, to this year is astronomical. Like, his rise has been unbelievable. Um, so I'm, I'm so excited for him to get to get his shot. And, and same as Tommy Hooper. Um, but yeah, I, I think, I think change is always good. And then our bench with the guys coming off, bringing that experience because you know we it's probably a thing we haven't really done well um our bench coming into the game and and really controlling it and having guys like slips whitey coming off that can really bring that cool collectiveness um and, and help us finish off the game so i'm excited for those guys excited for angus bell you know starting for the first time in a, in a i guess over a year because of his toe, excited for Nella to come back. Um, so, yeah, just can't wait to see what we can do on Saturday. And playing a big seven, how does that change your role and, and kind of the whole um, back middle row uh, mentality? Um, not a huge amount because Tommy's obviously quite young and eager, so he'll get around the ball quite a bit. Um, and he loves flying into things. So in terms of my role, I just got to, because I'm the older head amongst those three, is, is just try to drive that energy, especially with our big boys in the middle. Um, you know, keep them tight if something doesn't go their way and help them through that, uh, through the game and make sure that we're checking in as a back row group. But, you know, we're not expecting Tommy to do what Hoops does or do what Fraser does. We just want him to play his game and, I mean, Bobby's game speaks for itself, so making sure that we don't go away from that and, and what our games are, um, 
because that's that's what we've been picked for is, is to bring that and and um, yeah that's what what Eddie wants from us. Is your what's that? What's Eddie done for your game? Yeah, just like I said, was saying he's <coughs> black and white. Um, he's straight to the point, which I appreciate. Um, so yeah, he's just just like a, the little things like short kicking game, um, long kicking game, and stuff like that. So. Um, we've got a um, we've got a good kicking coach in Russ, and been able to chip away with him over the weeks. I haven't been playing, so it's um, it's been nice to sort of you know sharpen the iron um, with Russ in terms of my kicking game and stuff like that. So and just being able to do the you know do that and enjoy it. <coughs> um, so yeah, I think he's sort of seen a change in me, willing to work hard and stuff like that, um, and sort of earn it. And. Um Eddie's got a pretty great record against the All Blacks. Do you guys think about that? Does it help, like, give you belief that this can be done? Yeah, definitely. Um, <coughs> what um, Eddie's just been implementing towards us as a playing group, just got to uh, buy into it and, uh, you know, want to go out there and play for your country and especially for, you know, the coaching staff as well as our family. And, our fans and stuff, you just you want to put on that jersey and go play and go hard for them. Harry was special as a giver. <coughs> yeah, very. the teams and the connection and the Yeah, very, very. Um, well, my parents were um, the Kiwis, so you know they, you know, it's it's, it's very special when it comes to play the All Blacks. Um, you know, they've obviously got that reputation about them, so definitely no hold, uh, holding back on Saturday. You always wanted to be a Wallaby? Yeah. Yeah. Australia is like, I was born and raised in Australia. Um, yeah. Green and gold jersey. Aussie pride, mate. <laughs>